I've been asked a few times by uh, people to kind of explain and show how I do the uh, effects on my photos that I post on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, really, it's just an app that I use most of the time. Uh, it's it's free for Android. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on Apple's store or not. Uh, I'm sure there's something similar. Um, and it's called um, Smart HDR. It's it right there. And it's free, so that's, that's a plus. And um, I really recommend it. So, you know, if you want to, like, see how it works, just um, we'll show right here in just a second. Okay, I launched the app. I had to uh, stop the video because it does uh, change it to landscape mode, so it kind of freaks the video out. So this is what you see when you first launch it, and it's pretty basic. You have this default picture with the car that comes with the program, and it's always there whenever you launch it, so you can kind of play around with it and get an idea. Um, really, what you do is the bulk of what you do is right there on that FX button and when you you hit it like that you have this over here and the HDR Pro FX is something that I had to buy uh, so it doesn't come with it but HDR is by default what you get so if you just hit the HDR you get all these presets that are already made for you and uh, really, what HDR is, is it stands for High Dynamic Range. And it, um, it with a real camera, well, with a big expensive camera, a DSLR camera, what you're doing is you're taking multiple shots at different exposure levels. That way you have one that's like a darker, one that's normal, and one that's lighter, and it combines it. And that way it brings out the colors, uh, things that are in the shadows are now brighter and it makes everything uh, sharper so what this app does is it kind of does the same thing with software with just one picture so like you have this sample picture you can go to classic and here's the sliders you can change these if you want I never change them uh, you said okay and you're gonna see that it brightens the picture the sky is crisper and and more colorful the the greens are more colorful everything sen seems to be sharper so you can go through and, and try all these different ones there's photorealistic and you see that it was a subtle change uh another one of my favorite ones is tune because it really over exaggerates and you see that i mean it's almost like a like a a cartoon or a painting or something uh the greens are really green i like tune uh, Dreamlike is good, kind of gives it that kind of hazy look. Um, you got Gloomy, and then Surreal kind of gives it that old-timey look, which goes good with that car. And you can hit the compare button to go like a before and after. Um, but really, to really see what you, you can do with this, is you want to use your own pictures. So you'll, you'll hit this little folder icon up here to open up your picture so you you hit that and it brings up some picture here's some pictures that I have um, here's one of the hospital I took uh, the other day when you first load your picture this comes up and it's it's asking you how big do you want your picture and if you're just wanting to put it on Facebook or Instagram you know it doesn't really have to be that big but if you're going to maybe want to print the picture off, you want to go 100% to make it as big as you can get it. So you just hit OK. And so there's the picture. And like before, you just hit FX, HDR, and now here's the presets. So there's, there's what it looks like right now. And you hit Classic, hit OK, and you can see that the grass is a lot greener and crisper the skies is, is sharper and it, it just brings out a lot of detail um you can play around like like i said tune is another one of my favorites so you hit okay and i mean the greens are really green um to me that's almost overkill 
the hospital itself is very sharp and be very detailed. Uh, if you want to go kind of like, uh, kind of creepy looking, you maybe go surreal or gloomy. Um, kind of gives it like a, to me it looks either like an old timey effect or like a zombie apocalypse kind of look. But um, I just, I like the classic for this picture. It, it doesn't go too far. So what you're going to do, once you figure out which one you want, you're going to hit the um, apply button right there. So it's it's applying the effect. And then once you've got it applied, if you want to save it, you hit save right there. And hit OK. And now that picture is saved onto your phone. And again, if you want to hit compare, you can see a before and after what it looks like. Now, you got FX, which does the effects. You got discard if you want to like just delete what you got. You got share if you want to go ahead and share it from the app to Facebook, Android, whatever. Uh, you got the save, you got compare, and you got zoom. So that's the options you have there. And really, that's all there is to it. I recommend this for landscapes. It's not going to look, well to me it doesn't look as great on portraits because it tends to, uh, to make people look older and I don't think people like to look older. Uh, some people hate HDR. They think that it um, takes away from the picture uh, and that's fine. I mean people, you know, they're free to have their own opinions. I personally like color and uh, it's just, there's no better way to bring out color. And this app, like I said, is free. It works great. And when I got my new phone, it was the first app that I downloaded. So there you go. That's kind of how I do my pictures. And I hope that um, if you guys use this, you'll share what uh, uh, you get out of your pictures. And um, yeah, see you all later.